Mammy Walsh is the mother of them all, of the, the, the five Walsh sisters. And um, she's a very strong character in her own right now. She hasn't had her own book yet. Um, and, and she thinks that's really all wrong, you know, because she's the rock and um, the one that holds them all together. And her five kind of words to describe her would be um, great fun, uh, devout, wise, respectable and tall and uh, her motto is um, life is a veil of tears so get over it. Um, her favourite colour would be uh, something like taupe or mink but not beige, you know beige is dull and she's not dull, dull oh no mammy watch is great fun. Um, her ideal man is Michael Bublé, lovely chunky pair of thighs on him she says and a great singer, marvellous singer. Um, and um, her unfulfilled ambition is um, she'd love to go to the Holy Land and spend time there in the Holy Land. Um, right, so this is Mammy Walsh's bag. Now, this is not actually her bag. Claire gave it to her, but she thought that if Claire had once owned it, that it must be, um, you know, um, designer. And uh, these are the things she has in it. Well, she has an umbrella uh, theme going on. Um, on her moosh wars, on her hankies. Um, she has, what have we here? We have holy water from Knock. We have uh, holy water from Lourdes. We have uh, holy water also from Lourdes. We have um, the Blessed Virgin. We have rosary beads. We have a nun. Um, we have oh, we have a magnum wrapper. That's what she says. If she was a fool, if they say you are what you eat, then she's a cornetto. But she likes magnums also. Um, now she has. Um, I don't know why a sheep wallet and a sheep glasses case. I actually thought she was afraid of sheep, but maybe she's trying to conquer her fears through having them near her the whole time. You know, that kind of thing of exposure to your fears like they do with spiders and things. Um, now she has, um, her husband is in here in the form of a golf ball. This is Daddy Walsh. Um, now she has a pair of chopsticks um, because somebody once told her that if you were unexpectedly invited into a Japanese person's home that they'd expect you to have your own chopsticks and if you didn't they would be mortally offended and that you would have caused the most awful faux pas and she lives in terror of putting a foot wrong socially so she carries the chopsticks just in case by accident she's invited into a Japanese person's house you never know it could happen just you could be out one day and you could meet Japanese people and they might say come back to our house for a bit of sushi and uh, now we have an umbrella um, and this is part of Mammy Walsh's extensive umbrella collection. What else? Oh, more Magnum papers. Right. Now, this is her pink umbrella. That would be, uh, you know, one of the good umbrellas. This now is a fun umbrella to show that Mammy Walsh is good fun. This now is her small umbrella. That's a handy little umbrella. That's a good brolly now that should fit in the bag now. This is also a good brolly. Um, and it's got a lovely buttony thing that you just hit it and the brolly just bursts out. I won't do it now because it's bad luck. Bad luck to open a brolly inside. Now, they brought her this back from uh, Euro, Euro Disney, um, the grandchildren. Um, it's not really her, but it is an umbrella and you never know. Um, you might have a day where you might need it, but uh, Mammy Watch is not a Minnie Mouse kind of person. Also, this was brought back to her from... Um, from uh, Rome, was it, or Florence, one of them places, it might be Florence, and she's a bit worried about it because there's a naked lady on it, do you see? Um, and they say it's art, but as far as she's concerned, it's filth. Um, and, uh, but at the same time, she doesn't want to throw it away in case she causes offence. Um, so this is just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of Mammy Walsh's extensive umbrella collection. And when she dies, she has no problem if the entire collection is given to a museum. But it has to be on, intact. The V&A, she thinks, would like it. They can have it for free, but they must, they must display it all intact with a little board underneath each one describing 
what it is. So that's Mammy Walsh. <laughs>